I'm sure all of us have used the task manager utility on many different versions of a Windows computer. And inside the task manager, we can see all the different processes. But there's also a PowerShell equivalent called get-process. Now I'll tell you why it's important to know this information. Now this gives us a list of all the different processes all at once. If you want to have that go one page at a time, just put in the pipe command underneath the backspace key, followed by the word more, and now it'll just go one page at a time, which you can use either the enter key or the spacebar key to scroll down until you get to the end. I've scrolled back to the top because I want to show you some of the more important information that we're looking at here, such as the name. In this case, we see the process name. And then we also see the process ID or PID. Now, it only shows this as ID, but we also refer to this as the process ID. And the reason why this particular commandlet is very important in PowerShell is because if you need to remote into a computer that has a stuck process, then you can do that using PowerShell. You can type in the enter-ps session commandlet, which will then allow you to enter a, another, another computer. It'll prompt you for the username and password. And then you can go in and you can kill off a process without having to restart it. So if we once again take a look at our task manager, I'm going to add in the process ID. There it is there. Now we can see the process ID number. And that number, like I said, is going to be very important. So if there's a particular process that's stuck, we can usually see that there's a problem. If it's a service, we can see that it's either stuck in the stopping or starting phase. And then we can see the related executables that go with those. But the processes, which the services and details are all tied to, are listed here. So if I type in get dash process, you're going to see what you would have seen in processes and task manager had you been able to remote into that other computer. I've cleared the screen and let's take a look at this particular process here. The Microsoft Office click to run. This is not an incredibly important process, so I could go ahead and kill this without causing any issues. We see the process ID is 5232. So in order for me to kill this off, so using the command like get dash process, I'll type in get dash process once again, followed by the ID, so dash ID. Then I'll type in 5232, the pipe command, and type in stop dash process, which is another commandlet. And then hit enter. And it's asking me if I'm sure about this. I say yes. And now it's done. If I go back into task manager, and we should no longer see that particular process ID. So I'll scroll down to 5232, and we can see it's no longer there. If I type in get dash process dash ID 5232, it'll say, hey, I cannot find that process identifier anymore. Let's go back and we see process ID 4520 is live. So I'll change that 5232 to 4520. And we can see that particular process, which is our task manager. So you can see if I was remoted into another computer, how useful it would be to be able to kill off a process. And it could be even a malware process as well, which I can then kill off. And then I can do other remediation techniques to make sure it doesn't come back. So that is how we use get dash process and the different parameters. If I type in get dash help, get dash process, then it'll give me all the different parameters that go along with it.